Hey, what up guys? It's Mike here and in this video, we will be talking about the tools needed in learning HTML and CSS. Basically, there is only two tools needed. First one is a code editor or a text editor and a second one will be a web browser. So I listed links below for web browser and text editor we will be using. So for Windows users, since I'm running on Windows, we will be using InType. So click on it and hit this download link and click on download. Once you've downloaded it, install it to your system and you will have something that looks like this. This will be the text editor we will be using for the whole tutorial since I've been using this for about two years now. In here, this section is, our, is where we will place our code, HTML codes, and on this left side corner is our project manager which our files will be placed so let's create a new project and let's name this first WD HTML project for example and here we will drag our directory folder which we will create on the desktop create a new folder and name it HTML or everything you want and inside our directory we only needed one folder since we will be learning HTML and CSS only should be the images folder and for the styles and HTML we will place it on the root directory so go ahead and drag this to our project manager and you will access it right here so all images will be placed here next we will create our html document by clicking on file and save this document as index.html name it whatever you want and just make sure that the extension will be .html so that the browser know that this is a web document so click on save the other file we will need is the CSS file so click on file and new and save this as style.css Make sure the extension is .css for cascading style sheet and hit on save. Now we have a complete list of document needed. All we need to do now is to add the elements and the styles. But before that, I would like to walk you through about the feature of this code editor. So I prefer this to be dark. We can change the color scheme of this by going to Edit, Preferences, and hit on Blackboard. Click Apply, then OK. Now we can add our code. One of the cool feature of InType is it supports text bundles for HTML and CSS and other languages. So in here, we are on the index.html. Now the language set is on HTML. If we're going to use the bundle, we can view it right here, bundle HTML. As you can see right here, for paragraph and heading you can just press p on the keyboard and press tab 
it will automatically fill the tag for you and for heading you just press H E on the keyboard and tab so we'll do it so P tab H E tab and you can set it to 2 or whatever heading you would like also one cool feature about this is we can do multi selection for example if we're going to create an unordered list we just type ul then tab then press enter five times like that then on the keyboard press alt and then left click then drag and now you can type the list item as you can see it creates li tag for both lines I mean for the single lines that we've selected so it's one great feature and also on bundles we can create on bundle editor we can create our own snippets so on HTML I've created something for this demo a snippet which I name it to begin and I click on it so this will be the code I place this is just a simple HTML structure and the tab trigger for it will be begin and when I type begin and press tab key on the keyboard now I have a basic structure of an HTML file which is good because for example if you are going to create another file for another web document you will not repeat it to type this doc type right here the HTML the head tag and the body tag so that's it and for the web browser we will be using Google Chrome and Firefox so we will not need we will not deal with HTML Explorer for now since we will be talking about basics so for the tour of the Google Chrome and Firefox we will don't need a browser extension like Firebug because it has already a great feature which we can inspect element and see or examine the document or the HTML document by looking on the code like here that this section right here is plays on the nav tag with an ID of page menu and contains a UL with the list items for the links and on the side we can see the styling so this is great when we are examining the code so that's basically it for this video on the next video we will be learning about the basic tags of HTML and how are we going to style it on CSS so I'll catch you guys on the next video